Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fight Club Face Off, folks. We're here for one more Face Off of the evening. We're going to welcome down these two boxers now. First of all, we've got Rich the Tank Love Day, folks. Evening, Rich. Nice to see you. Looking very dapper, I have to say. Very smart indeed. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by Polythene UK, Stephen Pajama Boy Wilkins. Stephen, good to see you. Not looking as smart as your opponent, I have to say. But each to their own, obviously, some people come to impress, some people don't. Uh, but let's not let that affect anything, so I'm sure that you're going to come on the evening of the 27th to impress in the ring, is that right? Yeah, I do all my talking in the ring, I need to dress up. That's what's here for. And, you, and yourself, Rich, you have dressed up, you're looking rather smart. Yeah. I know last night you're coming off the back of a loss. Um, how do you feel about last night's performance? Uh, the chat last night was, uh, he's a top level kickboxer. He's had, like, uh, he's had like 100 fights and in my opinion he would beat any, any of the, the cruiserweights, heavyweights in Sweden. The Eagle Smash. Okay, so is that, yeah, was that, was that Mallinson? Uh, Carl Mallinson, yeah. Um, yeah, good boxer. I was there last night, I, I did that fight. Can I just check, was that the first time you've been stopped, Rich? Yeah, I'm in my corner, um, he wanted to stop it, I didn't want to stop, I'm never ever going to stop, but I was taking too much punishment. It's got a scratch, I've got a little scratch here, nothing wrong with me. I'm absolutely fine, I was training today, I'll be training tomorrow, I'm training for this, end of September, I'm going to put this man away. Going to put this man away, okay. Can I just check with you, Stephen, how old are you? 19. 19. Still a boy, really, Rich. How old are you, Rich, man? It's actually my birthday this Friday. So um, I'm an old man, I'm going to be 35 before I leave. You're going to get him a cake. Don't eat it first. <laughs> okay, sorry, was that Craig giving me some stick again? Craig, go and find your friend. He's around here somewhere. Goes by the name of Bristow. Yeah. In fact, he's behind you with his head right up your... Okay, so Stephen, have you been doing some different training now? Because you two have fought before, is that right? Uh, yeah, Fort Bridge twice now, both on the Whitney Fight Club. Uh, one was a uh, proper matchup, and the second one he stood in for me, and we out. Okay, and how did those last two fights go? Uh, I won them both on points. So, you won them both on points, but at the moment it's 2 0, so Rich, you've got something to prove on the 27th of September, is that right? There's a few, there's a few losses that bug me, and, and that's one of them. And uh, I will put it, I'm going to win, that's it. I'm, he, he knows I'm going to win as well. We've done a lot of training in the last few months. Got a lot of sparring. Um, he, this guy, I mean, people look at him, look at him, he thinks he's a short fat kid, but the only man to beat him is Sean Grant. The only man to beat him is Sean Grant, and everyone, you know, raves about him, but I'm going to beat him as well on the 27th. Okay, on the 27th, you heard it, guys, he's going to beat him. Um, what's your record so far, Stevie Boy? Uh, white colour boxing, I think eight, uh, two losses, one draw, the rest of the wins. Okay, so you've got a good record behind you, Rich. What's your record so far, mate? Listen, records are for DJs. <laughs> Rich, I'm going to rephrase the question. What's your stats so far? My stats aren't very good. Um, I have six wins and 12 losses. <laughs> but listen, actually, no, don't worry, mate. No, 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 no. Now you've started, I'm afraid you're going to have to continue. Those 12 losses, two were Sean Grant, two were Phil Williams, so I mean, I'll also leave this man here. So, six losses really, with three different men, it's not very good. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there, you haven't been here for this um, press conference tonight because you were too busy picking a shirt, um, <laughs> which is fair enough. But I've said it to all the guys here tonight, you lose, you lose. Whether it's against Joe Bloggs twice, or whether it's against Steve Smith or whoever you've been fighting, you said, you know, you lost this guy twice, two times he beat you. Sean Grant, twice he's beat you. Phil Williams, twice he's beat you. They still go down on those stats, records, whatever you want to call them, as losses. So you've got, is it 12 losses? Yeah. 12 losses, six wins, any draws? So you've got a fair bit of experience behind you. You've got nearly double the amount of fights as this, this young lad's got. That's right, okay, yeah? What is it? Is, is it the experience that you think you're going to be bringing to the table or bring to the ring? 
Yeah. You're, well, he's got more experience than you. In life and in the ring, he's got more experience. Do you think Nasmo's going to win this fight? Uh, it's my determination. I, I'm going to... It's, it's four rounds, right, this one? He's going to struggle to do four rounds with me. So I'll be, I'll, I will work for four rounds. And he's the same height, you know, got similar height and weight. You know, we've both fought small range of men. Our start, start styles will suit each other. Um, we're we're going to be busy. We're going to be busy for four rounds. Stevie, what about yourself, mate? What are you bringing to the ring that night? Okay, you, you, you're young. What else have you got going for you apart from the fact you're young and you're coming off the back of two wins against him as well? What else are you going to bring? Uh, Rich is a really tough guy. I don't think anybody's ever going to struggle to knock him out. Uh, but I'm just going to bring speed, determination, I'm going to be fitter, I'm going to be faster, I'm going to be better, I'm going to win. Talking about faster, did you see my reflexes then? That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so you're going to be stronger, you're going to be faster, and you come in with, with two wins against this guy on your side as well. When was your last fight, Stevie? Uh, Friday night. And how did you get on? Uh, Drew. It was a draw? Okay, so you're coming off the back of a draw, Rich, obviously you're coming off the back of a loss, so you both feel like, I guess you've both got things to prove now. Your last fight is a draw and a loss. You always want to win. Is that what's going to drive you on on the 27th, Rich? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's going to be, it is going to be a good fight. We're, we're both going to, you know, I, I respect this man an awful lot. We've become friends now, but, but for eight minutes, well, it's going to be under that, because I will stop that. For, for eight minutes, it's going to be in a world of shit. <laughs> okay guys, this, this fight that we, we're, we're talking about now is for a super heavyweight belt, obviously. You can see why they're super heavyweights. Obviously. Um, okay, did you bring your dad to everything? Okay, yeah, because you, you can't drive, but that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine, no, that's fine. Not a problem. So he's got this determination, he's coming off the back of the loss. Have you got determination coming with you as well? Yeah, I've got determination. I don't like losing. I don't know anybody that does. So I'm not going to lose it. I'm not going to win. I'm not, not going to stand back and take it. I'm going to take it all and give it all. Rich has just said that the fight's meant to last eight minutes, but it's not going to go that far. What have you got to say to Rich about that? I think Rich has predicted he's going to be a bit too tired for the fourth round. Uh, we'll see how far it goes. I don't want it to go all the way. I want an easy time. Should be better than the main event, I think. Okay, so you're both fighting for this belt. I've got to ask you one question, question quickly as well, Stephen. Polythene UK, you're sponsored by them, is that right? Why, why is that? Uh, I like to help out friends, get a bit of advertisement, and I've got a bit of reputation, you see. So who, who, who are these Polythene UK guys? What do they, what do, and obviously they deal with Polythene, obviously. Uh, they're a company based out of Whitney. They've got a friend that works for them. They, they offered me some sponsorship. I took it just to help them out. Okay, with this um, sponsorship that you recently received, I'm not going to ask you how much it was. It, I, I, you know, I don't care about things like that. But are you going to be buying yourself a new pair of pajama bottoms to be fighting in the ring with? Because I've seen you know a few fights and they're the same ones. They're getting a little bit tired, a little bit dirty, and I'm a bit fed up of seeing those flabby Union Jacks getting a little bit dirty now. So you're going to get some uh, new pajama bottoms to come into? I'm not. They pajama bottoms are flourish with talent and wins. Uh, I don't need to get a new pair. <laughs> Okay, no problem. My pen's in my pocket. I'll give it to you in one minute. It's just on the table. Steve, just pass the pen. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna finish it off now, ladies and gents. Rich, we're gonna start with you. Uh, I just want to see what you'd like to say to the man or the boy, pajama boy, um, as we like to call him, and to the audience, everyone watching at home. What's your final message and what they what they expected to see on February 27th at Swindle Fight Club? September. What was I say? February. I don't know why I said February, sorry. September the 27th. <laughs> Three hours waiting for sorry. Uh, well, firstly, I just want to thank a couple of people. Obviously, Abby Move. Um, I want to thank them. I want to thank CNX Carpentry. But on the night, I want people to buy the tickets. You mentioned about the main event. That's going to be a blast. But um, we will go for it. We will stand in the middle of that ring. We're going to swim. We're going to... It's going to be fun. Okay, not, not just we. I want your words. What are you going to bring to it? What do the people expect from you on that night? What they expect from me at the end of the night? I have a nice shiny belt around my waist. See. A shiny belt around this guy, ladies and gents. What about yourself, pajama boy? What are you bringing that night? What are people going to expect on September the 27th? I'm going to bring my pajamas. I'm going to bring my, bring my skill and take the belt straight off you, Rich. 
Okay, well he's going to bring his pyjamas. This guy's going to apparently going to be leaving with his belt. I just hope you don't have to be sleeping in those pyjamas, okay? Because that's what he's, he's given it so far. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Rich the Tank Love Day, Stephen Pajama Boy Wilkins. Please, a round of applause for both. Let's shake hands. Let's stand up and have a little face off, please, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. I'd just like to say to all of you, thank you very much for coming today. As you have seen, most of these boxers have shaken hands. This is all a sport, okay? It is gentlemen getting in the ring as gentlemen. They're fighting off for some good causes. We're going to be raising some fantastic money that night for some great charities as well. We hope you can all make it down and find out who comes out the better men at the end of it. Until the September the 27th. We'll see you then. Swindon Fight Club. Good night. God bless. This has been Fight Club Based Off. Thank you.